I'm surprised Scrat hasn't been executed and stuffed after that last Ice Age movie made... Wait a minute. That last Ice Age movie made over 400 million worldwide? That's insane! What is wrong with the world? Are these two big doors the entrance to the outside area for these bulls? Are humans aware in this world that animals have humanistic qualities? Because if so, just having them fight matadors seems less profitable than taking advantage of the other skills they possess. <laughs> the pail is still almost completely full, even after the water was seen pouring out of it. And at one point, the bucket even turned upside down. And if this was all the water Ferdinand was going to pour on the flower, why fill the pail up all the way in the first place? You're never gonna get selected. You wanna know why? Why? <laughs> Who knew? Even in the world of bulls, there are bullies. Bullies. Whoa, let me try something out. Bullies, belie, belligerent bulls in Belize. Astonishing. Excuse me, guys, but I've got an ancient Mayan ruin to find. It's at this point, as a human being, I would wonder why all these bulls are looking at me expectantly, and why one of the bulls looks proud, while the other seems upset he wasn't picked. You're gonna come back, right? What? That matador doesn't stand a chance, okay? Really curious what exactly the bull's thought process is in this world. The movie makes it clear that no other bull comes back after fighting the matador. So why do either of them think the dad will be back? The humans around here seem awfully trusting of the bulls to get in the transport all by themselves. Ferdinand's pop could easily take out this lone stable worker here and run for the hills. Ferdinand uses his newly found human muscles to hoist himself over the fence that is meant to keep him in. Damn, 8 minutes and 45 seconds is all it took for this movie to steal the Lion King from Bambi. Late night mystery train just happens to be leaving right now, so that Ferdinand can leave the ranch. Seriously, why is this train here? And why does it need to leave right now? If railroad builders would stop leaving conveniently placed ramps along the tracks, sentient animal train crashing antics would go down by at least 67%. Hey Gus, I was wondering something. How did that bull know to jump onto that train like that? You think these bulls might be self-aware? I'll take good care of you. Ferdinand somehow winds up by the one farm that would probably take him in, over just returning him to the Casa del Toro. I mean, there's only so many places he could have wandered off from, right? How did they know his name was Ferdinand? It wasn't like he was wearing a collar or any kind of identification tags. The director said, let's have your character expect to be given an apple that Nina's asshole dad was about to eat. It'll make you look like even more of an asshole. Funny gag, I guess, but how the hell did he get inside the house? Also, the couch survives this. Hey, wait a minute. Don't caterpillars have to go through a series of developmental stages called instars and then go through a pupation ritual and some kind of molting involved? I don't know. Can caterpillars really do that? Guys, I think I've hit terminal sinning. What this montage proves beyond a shadow of a doubt is that Ferdinand causes more damage than a fun bull normally does. Aside from the lack of physics that are required to turn this cart into a trampoline, Nino really should have died from this. Movie attempts to explain Ferdinand's comings and goings to and from this house, but movie is wrong. A dog and a bull can't be brothers, that would be weird. That's brotherist. Ferdinand can't come to the festival this year. This is the only movie in memory that has ever had a flower-loving bull get adopted by a chicken farmer, whose daughter likes to go to flower festivals with her pet bull, who is suddenly too old to go, and makes that a major plot point. But he goes with us every year. I know, but... He's not a little calf anymore. But he was a little calf the previous year. I'm no expert in the amount of time it takes a bull to grow, but I'm guessing he was at least half this size last year and therefore too large for them to take him to the festival. My mother always told me that if I'm ever in a dark alley sniffing flowers, that's probably an indication that I have a problem. Someone get that ice cream and age it, because it has perfect dramatic timing. Ferdinand hasn't tried to hide the entire time since he's gotten to the festival, but here he randomly does by pretending to be a balloon. <gasps> So far, everyone in this village has reacted to Ferdinand with mild fright, which means I'm guessing they can recognize his kind eyes and facial expressions, even though the bull part of the equation still causes some alarm. Movie's got a movie and all, but they couldn't come up with something better than this to cause Ferdinand to freak out and be forced back to Casa del Toro. As big as he is, this small bee sting would be nothing more than a small prick. Huh? Baby in a life-threatening situation just loves nearly dying because its baby brain hasn't registered the concept of cruel death cliché. Yep, movie couldn't resist putting its bull in a china shop. What shop owner would display their glassware like this? A regular sized human would be knocking all over the place if they tried to walk through this store. Hey big guy, name's Lupe, I'm gonna be your calming goat. Or you can just call me Dory. Also, while calming goats exist, they're mostly used for horses. And I'm not sure I understand why they're used for bulls, especially fighting ones. Isn't being all revved up and wanting to run their horns through stuff kind of the point? I think I fell on something sharp. A small bee sting sends Ferdinand into a rage that gets him in this predicament, but he falls on Lupe's sharp horns and nothing. Oh, yes, I have! Oh, yes, I have. Kate McKinnon dialed up to 11. Might be way too much Kate McKinnon. You're the bull who destroyed a whole village, right? Did the owner of this ranch discuss all the details of Ferdinand's adventure around Lupe before he got here? I can't wait to show you off to the rest of the guys. They're gonna fertilize the yard. No, no, no. Dialogue from a 2017 children's film. 
I am not intimidated by your freakish hugeness. You think they just asked Peyton Manning for things he said in the huddle to come up with his dialogue? I don't know you, but I'm not scared of you, you sorry sack of meat. First rule of comedy. When all else fails, introduce a character with a Scottish accent. And oh yeah, Doctor Who is that anyway? Oh, I get it. Because I'm small. You know what you are? A sizes. Bones stole our sin. It'll make me look even better when I beat you to a pulp inside the ring. Welcome back, Ferdinand. How exactly is Valiente still here? Based on the lack of competition with Bones, Guapo, and the bull who can't see, shouldn't he have been picked by a matador already? <laughs> Was Lupe just keeping that down intact until the right moment presented itself? Also, it's been 22 years since Macarena was released. Can we not f***ing find some other Hispanic anthem to use when one is needed? Um, are you trying to steal my stuff? Oh no, we'd never do something like that. Hey, it's the hyenas from The Lion King. Er, I mean the gargoyles from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Er, I mean the penguins from Madagascar. <sighs> my greatest fear is death by Joe! My greatest fear is a heart attack while watching a regurgitated children's film, and that being the last thing I see in this life. Like butter. Who knew Gabriel Iglesias was a discount Josh Gad? I'm Una. I'm Dos. And I'm Cuatro. Oh, what happened to Trace? <gasps> We do not speak of this. This is the funniest bit in the movie, which would make one think that we should take a sin off, but this is the funniest bit in the movie. Close, get a look! The movie officially hits new character overload, and every single one of them is annoying. How long was Ferdinand gone from this ranch? I bet his parents weren't even related. That's an incest joke right there. Oh, the Alpha Barrel! If the wall didn't make a lupe shape on the side in which she hit it, then why would it make one on the other side of the wall? My hands are my instruments. As are my arms, legs, chest, feet, and buttocks. This movie shows that when in doubt, throw a butt into the conversation. It can't miss. Why would Lupe come out into the ring? This would not be a situation where they would need a calming goat. Come on! Bring it on! And there's zero chance El Primero would pick bones, right? So why send him out there? Luckily for this bull ranch, the bulls know that they're in a tryout and know to run after a stationary red cape, even though we all know it's the movement of the cape and not the color that gets bulls all riled up. Also, this ranch has really changed up the criteria for bull tryouts, haven't they? Last time it was simply two bulls fighting each other. Now it's hitting this Mata dummy, in addition to some sort of free-for-all unreal tournament battle arena. My final fight is in two days. If I do not find the best bull for the best bull fighter by then, no bull fighter will ever use your ranch again. Luckily, the best bullfighter in the world has decided this is the only ranch in all of Spain where he can find the best bull, so that the movie can Ferdinand for the next hour. So long, suckers! Even though this truck is only going to drive about 100 yards to the chop house on this very ranch, this picture on the back helpfully illustrates the fate of the passengers, so the characters know what's up. They're taking guap to the chop house. Well, that's not so bad. They actually serve reasonably priced lunches, and oh, this is a children's film, right? There's a lot of, a lot of pollen in the air this time of year. That's right. A lot of pollen. I know, I know. It's animated and there's animals talking and we could play this game every sins video for these types of films. But how the f do they know what pollen is or allergies? Come on, get up, get up. Obstacle course. Look alive, F-Stop. We got 24 hours to whip you into shape for El Primero. Lupe was not around when El Primero gave his ultimatum and therefore would have zero clue how much time they had to do anything. At least this movie doesn't have one of those ridiculous slow motion shots in the air where the character is saying whoa and trying not to hit something like, say, a bunny. <laughs> Damn it! Come on, little guy! Thankfully, Ferdinand remembers his CPR training from that summer camp two years prior. Don't Angus, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> I can see! Give me a f***ing break. Angus has always known this was his problem. Earlier, when McKinney Goat told him that he was talking to Ferdinand's butt, he blew his hair up so he could see better. It's impossible for this asshole not to know that was the problem. And impossible he wouldn't have done something about it by now. Oh, 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 a bull dancing! I know these horse characters are supposed to be annoying, but they might be the most unwelcome secondary antagonist since the Joker and Suicide Squad. Go eat a schnitzel, you pasty-faced glue stick! That's racist and equinist. Yep, it was only a matter of time until this movie about bullfighting resorted to a dance-off, which is the only way to settle scores in movies nowadays. Next up will be the Avengers Infinity War, which will feature Thanos and Captain America serving each other in a disco murder tech. Also, this bull horse dance-off goes on for some time, and movie has time for this. Also, why are the horses in this movie? They already have the humans, namely the matador, set up pretty well as the antagonist, and you have the hedgehogs for comic relief. So what purpose do the horses serve other than to make an overlong movie even longer? <laughs> and I can't giddy up! Let's see, five sins for the bad pun and 10 sins for the outdated reference. I mean, where's the beef, y'all? Where's the beef? Go on, horses, prance, cause you can't dance. Why can't we just agree that they all can dance?
And why can't we just agree that this is the most oblivious ranch in all the world? The owner is sitting on a gold mine with animals that act like people. From live shows to YouTube to scientific grants, they'd be making way more than they are trying to sell bulls to matadors. And let's not forget the merchandise. Our only way out is to beat the matador in the ring. It's funny you should mention that because it looks like there's an easy way out just behind you. Sure, Ferdinand ran into the electric fence earlier, but this spot behind Valiente looks very escapable. Add to that, I'll say again, it's the most oblivious ranch in the world. Also, what does Valiente think they will do with him after he beats the matador? Just let him go live in a mansion or something? Me? Through there. Uh, have you seen these hips? Why yes, I also saw you walk through this door earlier, and you managed to sleep in Nina's room despite the high degree of difficulty there. So why would this be any different? <laughs> Bullsh**. I couldn't hold that in any longer. Is this a car, or is it a toy car? Sure, Ferdinand is going to get stuck in it, but it looks like a human would get stuck in it too. And why did the car's lights and radio come on when Ferdinand crash landed into it? Okay, all right, we gotta do something, guys. No, 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 no. Ah! This works. This guy seems to always be outside when something happens between the bulls. I wonder if he witnessed that dance off earlier. That one is the best bull. I'll fight him in Madrid tomorrow. I get this isn't like boxing where the fighters have to train for months, but they still have to sell tickets to the Matador show. If he hadn't found a bull by the next morning, what was El Primero's plan for the event everyone is coming to? Jesus, they're taking Valiente to the chop house already? Is this one of those 24-hour ranches where people are always on the job no matter what time and still don't notice bulls running obstacle courses? Sure, why do anything smart for your escape? Like this couldn't have been done with a ton of rubber gloves. The hedgehogs could have done this for you. <gasps> it's Guapo! Guapo is still alive? What was the rush in sending Valiente here then? I guess those trucks with the meat diagrams on the back of them are really just for dramatic effect. Wait a minute. Are you telling me this motion sensor laser thing doesn't really set off an alarm? It just starts the meat grinding machines? Or is this just an over-the-top security system complete with death traps? Valiente ex machina? But I'm more pissed off that the bull named Makina wasn't the ex machina. Thanks for f***ing up our pawns, dicks. What are you guys doing? We're trying to help you! Well, you're doing a terrible job! How did Guapo somehow avoid the death traps that Ferdinand and Valiente needed teamwork to avoid? Jesus Christ, luckily that large boulder of ice that was sure to suffocate all of them turned out to be so easily breakable. This is the second time untrained animals have to perform CPR on a bunny, and I have yet to see any flatliner type sh I'm a bull, not a dog! How does the character named Bones not get this line? Machina X Machina! There is hope in the world! Which way? Far right! By the way, this is at least the third movie in the last couple years to have animals driving cars. Finding Dory, The Secret Life of Pets. Is this mandatory nowadays? Oh damn, wouldn't you know? Just the luck. They chased after their runaway bulls on the day the interstate was reduced to one lane, and that somehow didn't slow down all the traffic on this road at all. And now they're paying the price. Sure, this guy notices the bulls driving the truck, but how did nobody else in Madrid see this too? They're in bumper to bumper traffic. Let's go! Let's go what? What are you planning to do? Commandeer the truck with a bunch of self-aware animals? You don't even have a cattle prod or sedatives or anything that will help you if you reach them. There was a discussion in a room at one point where someone said, you know what this movie needs? A rap that samples soup dragons. And someone else agreed. Yeah, that's pretty funny and all, but why is the bus even still driving? Seems like this situation would call for bus drivers to stop, make a few phone calls, flag down an officer of the law, or something. But maybe Spain is different. Move it, guapo! I don't want to die looking at your butt! You know what's really annoying is that this movie finds ways to say butt a lot, but not enough for a bonus round. Lupe knows how train tracks work. Apple assholery aside, there are really only two foods depicted in this movie. Carrots and apples. Can't this guy have a power bar or a box of animal crackers? They're coming fast! With the climactic chase scene, I think this movie has hit every animated movie cliche in the book. So they drag Ferdinand all the way back to the city to load him into the trailer instead of just bringing it to the train tracks? You are the bravest bull I know, but you're gonna have to fight. And Ferdinand, who has never actually fought, going up against El Primero, who has never lost, will somehow find a way to win. You don't have to do anything, kids, except anything you want, and everything will work out just fine. You know, I'm happy that Ferdinand is winning this by not fighting at all, but the idea that he's not surrounded by all the picadors who stick the bull with lances is pure fantasy. We interrupt this bullfight to show you that Ferdinand really loves his flowers, in case you didn't know that from the first 90 minutes of this movie. This guy lets his daughter go down into the arena. Sure, Ferdinand isn't a threat, but what about security? Is there any security at these places? I mean, I guess everyone here knows that Nina and Ferdinand have a relationship and is going to allow this. Oh man, I'm so happy that Nina and Ferdinand got back together. What do you think the wedding will be like? An engaged, fully entertained Spanish crowd enables Ferdinand's nasty flower addiction. 
Flower Bull did it. Original title of the movie. So wait, the ranch owner just let Nina have these bulls? How nice of him. He must have learned some lessons along the way that were all off screen. There's probably something to be said about this scene they stuck in the middle of the credits, but I'm just stupefied how they found room for yet another apple and carrot into this picture. Jesus, draw something else. And yeah, I see the radish and the penis emoji. Just do something else, damn it. Harry, the meat is filthy. Do you know they got untrained people working at the gut table? From the time he could stand. He was baptized in the fire of combat, taught never to retreat, never to surrender, taught the death on the battlefield in service to Sparta. They lived only to face a new nightmare, the war against the machines. Nothing gets past us. Never, ever, never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> And the eighth and final rule, if this is your first night at Fight Club, you're gonna have to fight. Cause today is Rex Manning Day. And the flowers are still standing. Okay. I don't know your name. Could be anything. Obese Denise. Inflexible Tina. Lazy Susan.